Layers Manager. In this lesson, we will discuss the Layers Manager buttons. Let's start. You all know why we use layers. In 3DS Max 9, we can place our objects in layers. Let's explore it. For reference, I'm going to use this. Here is the Layers button. Click it. As you click, the Layers window will appear with a layer name at the title bar. Layers are expandable. Just click this plus symbol. This will expand the layer. All objects present in this 3D model are listed in a single layer. This tick means that this layer is currently active. Next to it is Hide. This is so you can hide a whole layer, or you can choose any object present in this layer which you want to hide. Next to it is Freeze. This is the same as Hide, but it will not hide an object, just freeze the selected object, which will turn it to a gray color. Next to it is Render. This teapot symbol shows that an object can be visible during rendering. Now let's click it and make it inactive, and now render your scene. See? It's not visible here. Next is Color. Each object is displayed with a unique color. You can put one color for one layer or a set of objects. Just click on the color square and choose the color from Layer Color. Your selected color will be displayed. Next is Radiosity, which is displayed with this symbol, which means that the object is included in the indirect illumination. Here at the top, this is the Create New Layers button. This will create an empty new layer. Just click it. You see, now you have one new layer named Layer 01. You can rename the layer. Just right-click and type the new name here. When you select the layer, this Add Selected Objects to Highlighted Layers button will become active. This will add your selected objects to the highlighted layer. Let's select some objects from our scene by holding the Control button. Now click this plus button. See, all your selected objects are placed in this layer. Next is Select Highlighted Objects and Layers. Let's check this also. Select some object names in the Layer window and press Select Highlighted Objects and Layers button. See, all highlighted objects are shown selected in the scene. The next button is Highlight Selected Objects Layer. This option will highlight a selected object from a scene in the Layer window. Let's check this. Just select some objects from a scene and click Highlight Selected Objects Layer button. See, the layer of selected objects is highlighted. Thus, layers are like transparent bases and allow you to organize and group different types of scene information with common properties, including color, visibility, renderability, and display.